ball rolling. Can you tell me why it's important for young people to vote? Uh, to be active participants in, in the process to make sure that their voices are heard and, and their idealism that young people can bring in and new generations can, can be put into the political process and, and uh, bring that aspect of it to, to the forefront. Exactly. Are there any other opinions? I agree. I think politics is something that's evolving across time. And the, the, the younger generations have different thoughts than older generations. And uh, I think they're not voting is harmful. Young people coming out of college, you know, these policies that are going to affect us, you know, the tax policies are going to have direct effects on what comes out of our paychecks and direct policies on what's going to affect us in the near future. So it's very important for our voices to be heard because it's going to have a direct effect on us. So it's very important to get our voices heard. Do you think that the, the candidates, the current candidates, have been doing a good job of focusing on issues that are important to college students specifically? I'd say more in years past, um, not necessarily focusing on exactly what I'd like to see them focus on, but I don't think it's a better year than most. What issues are you not hearing about that you'd like to? Um, one for me is Social Security. Um, whatever the future, I'm not. That's going to affect me more in the long run, and nobody's going to talk about it. I think for our generation, that's something that we're going to have to face and deal with. Um, so that's one issue. Does anyone else have any opinions about the, the issues that the candidates have been focusing on or not focusing on? I think there's such a focus in, obviously, the foreign policies and what we're doing in the Middle East that it kind of has, it's overdoing what could be focusing on, so I, don't know, I can't really blame them for not focusing on social security or something like that. I think the issues that uh, that they're bringing up are important to everybody, all Americans, not specifically college students, but everybody that's in America right now, they all have vested interest in, in uh, about the war and the things that they're discussing. I hope everyone here plans on voting in November. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> At least you're not willing to say otherwise. <laughs> and do you think most of your friends will vote in November? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Do you feel comfortable, you know, encouraging that uh, with with those around you, classmates, that you think that you know maybe they think it's not as important? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself in those conversations? Yes. yes. <laughs> How does that go? Do they do they have reasons for not wanting to vote or? Uh, my one friend that I was talking about it did. I think it was completely ridiculous. He was saying it'd be more of a protest vote, vote by putting in a blank ballot, but uh, kind of argued about that for a little while. <laughs> but I, I think most people should talk to him about it. They'll agree. So yeah, it's a good idea to go and go vote. Some of my friends haven't even registered to vote, which is, is uh, startling, to say the least. Uh, I don't know if they don't uh, give voting as much importance as they should. Or they're not aware of the issues that, uh, that the candidates are touting. Maybe they're not finding those issues relevant to them at, the, at this point in time. Um, and so that's, that's one reason. And, and another reason is, well, they, they ask the question, does my vote really matter? And um, their electoral college system, I mean, that's up for grabs. But, you know, that's one thing that I have to stress is that your vote does matter, and I mean, it's considered in the popular vote, so, I mean, uh, this is a chance to exercise that. It's a privilege that we have, and every American has the privilege to vote. I mean, not everyone in the world has the right and the privilege to vote, so it, you should be very proud that you have the opportunity to go out and to cast your vote. So I think every American should use that opportunity to vote for their candidate. Well, my next question is to ask you why you think it's important to vote. And we talked a little bit about that already. But is there anything else that you'd like to add about why maybe it's important for, for you personally that for your voice to be heard in that manner? Well, uh, 
I, for one, plan on working <coughs> in government for the rest of my life as a foreign service officer or, or you know, something, and uh, you know the policies that uh, that uh, the future candidates will decide will directly affect uh, the way that I do my job and and you know how I, I live my life. And uh, some of us are former military as well, and uh, those policies they really make a big difference. Just like when. Uh, they passed Jim Webb's uh, uh, new GI Bill. That's going to make a huge difference to a lot of veterans trying to go to school right now. So other than the, the, the Social Security that you mentioned, are there other um, factors that are important in this election as far as um, how you plan, not necessarily who you plan to vote on but the, or, or vote for, but the issues that you're voting are there any other key factors that are on your mind? Well, I'd like to hear more, uh, more so about education. I know that uh, with the ever-increasing costs of uh, higher education especially, uh, it is becoming, uh, I think it's, it's coming on the forefront of many college students' minds. And, um, you know, you don't really see uh, how they're going to address the uh, growing costs of education uh, in the media, you know, on the, the five, uh, five o'clock news. And, and so, uh, obviously, that's being dwarfed by the economy and, and other foreign policy issues. So, uh, you know, I'd like to hear uh, more about that and perhaps even further uh, going into uh, primary education, the elementary and high school, and uh, uh, seeing what we can do to improve that because I personally believe that uh, education is the key to success and, and you know, that's going to uh, stimulate the economy a lot more than a old check in the mail. So I agree with that. I also would like to hear more about our infrastructure, you know, our bridges, a lot of our interstate structures are crumbling. A lot of our bridges in Oklahoma, it's well documented that they're falling apart. A lot of resources have been spent away from our foreign policy that a lot of our infrastructure in the United States has been neglected for years, and I think we've not heard a lot about, you know, what's been planned in the United States to revamp the infrastructure in the United States, so I would like to hear a lot. I would like to see a lot about what they would do about that, too. That would be an issue that I'd like to hear about. And personally, I, I think that uh, we also need to hear more about uh, what the plans are to uh, lower food and energy costs uh, and, and hopefully diversify our energy uh, sources so that way we're able to move away from uh, the current crises that we have. Any other last minute thoughts or wrap ups that you'd like to include? It's going to be interesting to watch uh, congressional elections. It's, uh, I think that's going to be important, you know, with uh, some of the issues that were raised or kind of state level oriented and right now I have many states have jurisdiction over some of that stuff. So it'll be interesting to see that in tandem with uh, presidential elections. Thank you for your time.